Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So we're looking across the Gulf of Mexico and compared to last week, we are seeing lighter wind shear. Remember, we've been talking about the strong wind shear across the Gulf of Mexico uh, really for weeks now. Now into the western Gulf of Mexico, we do have some stronger winds. We also have this one trough of low pressure, quite a bit of convection with this. No signs of any organization. It does look like as we go through today and over the next day or so, this will be drifting on shore. So it doesn't look like it'll really have any time to develop at all. Now, as we look further down to the south across the Caribbean, we are still seeing some larger areas of strong winds here. We have these very weak tropical waves, which are working their way through the Caribbean as well. Very limited moisture. So again, no signs of any organization. And then as we continue to look further out into the Atlantic, uh, you are seeing just a couple of very weak tropical waves working their way on towards the west. Warm waters across the Caribbean up into the Gulf of Mexico. Very warm water. So if we were to see this wind shear subside, where we would start to get more of those ingredients in place, get some more moisture in the atmosphere and some lighter winds. There is certainly warm water there. So we will continue to watch all these locations very closely. But as you look at the Fox model, watch across the Gulf of Mexico, also down into the Caribbean. What you're looking at here are large amounts of wind shear. So in those prime locations that we watch for development, we are still continu continuing to see uh, that very strong wind not ideal conditions to see anything develop. So at least at this point, it looks like over the next five to seven days, uh, the tropics will remain quiet. We will keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.